What's up everybody, Brian Tong here, and I wanna say thanks so much for watching all the Apple Vision Pro content. I've been working my butt off, but a lot of you had asked me to go like even deeper for them. So we're gonna do this video all about the accessibility settings in Vision OS 1.02, the latest version just came out, and this is gonna be an in-depth walkthrough. Um, if I don't understand certain things, please forgive me, I really wanted to do this as a service to show, um, show this all off for people that are curious because there are some different things here. So right now, I'm gonna lean against this couch to keep this as stable as possible for you all. And where I stare is what will be in focus, but we're gonna jump into the settings. And then we're gonna choose accessibility from here on the left, right? You're used to your settings. Let's, we're gonna pick accessibility. And then you'll see here voiceover, zoom, display and text size, motion. We're gonna walk through all these. So let's start off with voiceover. And I'm not gonna turn this mode on because it can take over. And for someone who's not familiar with it, it can get a little daunting. So I'm gonna leave it off, but I do wanna show you the options here. You have a speaking right here where you can slide fast or slower, all right? You can choose the speech, which also allows you to choose the different voices. And these will download depending on who you'd like to be your voiceover kind of takeover voice. There's pronunciation. Pitch obviously changes the pitch of the speech as well. Spatializing speech will, um, the audio will come from the location of what you're looking at or what text you're staring at. It can also detect languages as well. So we're gonna go back here and then cover other things like um, where we got verbosity, punctuation, speaking hints, capital letters, deleting text. Some of this stuff is very familiar for those of you who use uh, voiceover in iOS. You also have things like commands, all right? You can switch your gesture handedness, right? Depending on which uh, hand is the priority to do the different gestures, okay? There's navigation style, flat. You can navigate images, you can choose a large cursor. But for those of you that are curious, a lot of similarities here, at least with voiceover, are here in Vision OS. So I'm gonna get out of this one and we're gonna go to Zoom. And Zoom is an interesting one. Now, I turn this on, but this feature on, but I'm gonna actually kind of do the last part of this is to turn, use the crown to Zoom. So we're gonna select that, okay? And what it allows me to do is when I stare at text, normally when I turn the digital crown, um, you get your environment option, your volume, but I'm gonna just kind of turn this real quick. And what you'll see now here is three icons. See their zoom one there? Normally that's not there. Normally you have the environment and just the volume. But now because I turned on use crown to zoom, once I turn the digital crown, you're gonna see here, it pops up this window and allows me to zoom into text. Look at that, see that? Use crown to zoom. You can also go check out the maximum zoom level. You can go all the way up to, I think 10X. If you want, by default, it's at five. But these are allow you to zoom into text a lot easier. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here. Also, we have display and text size. So we can make the text bold and you'll see it all change here, right? You can change to larger text as well. I can change the actual text size um, depending on what I want. I always keep it in the sweet spot, which is the middle. And there's large, larger uh, accessibility text sizes text sizes look I can go all the way over here if I want as far as there as I want so let's get back to I'm gonna turn that off and go back to the middle okay all right you also I'm gonna turn the bold text off here too I don't want to keep it in this mode um, button shapes on off labels now here's an interesting one ignore eye movements to stabilize right this would only be specific to vision OS so if you have blurriness jumpiness or inconsistent colors you can enable your ignore your eye movements to just to turn off any dynamic image optimization. You can increase your focus state. So that increases the contrast for items when you look at them. Um, even here, you can see we can manually increase the contrast. So I'm gonna click on that. You can differentiate um, without color. Certain um, like selections or cursors or options sometimes have color. We could do the classic invert if you want, right? We've seen this before, all right? reduce your white point, but these are all display and text size options in accessibility in Vision OS. Okay, let's go to motion. Now this would just be to, uh, there's like that parallax effect when you kind of look at icons and uh, when you move side to side, you can reduce that motion. Also with other things, you can autoplay message effects, um, which we normally do, you know, when you have like someone says like, oh, congratulations, and the fireworks go off, that's your autoplay animated images and autoplay video previews. So this is all motion related. Let's go to spoken content. 
All right, so a speak selection button will appear when you select text. So I'm gonna show you this in action. So I'm gonna turn this on, see if I can get this done right, okay? And uh, forgive me here, Siri, open notes. And hopefully I can do this properly, but I'm gonna choose, um, look here and choose this cursor. Let me close this down here, okay? Oh, let me move this down here, sorry. This is like to type. And I'm gonna look at that cursor again and it gives you options, paste, select, select all. If I look to that little right icon, you know what? I'll need to select text first. Let's select all. Okay. If I look up here now in this, you know, where you have the different options, I'm going to keep on looking. There should be an option to speak. That's normally not there, but because I turned that on, it is on. So I'm going to hit speak. This is a fun time to be able to use the Apple Vision Pros. Okay. <laughs> I put an S there. It's supposed to be pro. You got me. But this is just a way to show speak selection working. So I'm going to turn that off. You can also have it speak the screen what it sees and a little icon up in that top right hand corner shows up. So I'm going to spoken content, speak selection off a speak button will appear when you select text, speak screen on highlight con. So it's literally speaking what's on screen. So I'm going to um, turn that option off. Okay. You also have different voices. Speak selection, read selected content. You can yeah, change the speed of it. Yeah, that's really fast, but you can, you know, play with these different options, default languages, voices again, and spatialized speech so it comes from where you're looking. Okay, so that's um, the spoken content aspect of it. Let's go back here. Let's go to audio descriptions. And this is when available, it can automatically play audio descriptions for you. So I'm going to, that's just the only thing in here. Eye input. This allows you, so not everyone, if you can only really use one eye, you can actually choose the eye input that it does and then it'll actually walk you through the calibration process again to recalibrate um you know eye tracking whether it's your left eye or your right eye okay physical and motor so let's look at interaction so this is assistive touch allows you to use your apple vision pro if you have difficulty interacting with spatial content and it requires an accessory you can have sound actions i thought this one was also really interesting um dwell control so what is dwell control to do sometimes like the os is a little like too fast for people so if i choose dwell control on okay i'm going to turn that on okay and it gives you like the duration of time to dwell watch what i do i'm going to stare here at this control center icon uh option and it dwells on it for a second you saw that white cursor appear i'm going to go back to accessibility now watch that allows you to kind of use the os and um in, instead of it being very fluttery and fast, dwell control really slows it down for some users. All right, the target can be automatic. Um, the target can also be a system pointer or a using a trackpad, but this allows you to change basically the speed at rate of when you select things. Instead, you're just looking at it and staring at it. All right, let's see, is this pointer control? Okay, so this one's cool, pointer control. This is very reminiscent of what's in iPad OS. I'm gonna turn that on. And check this out. First of all, this actually shows you everywhere I'm looking. So right now my controls by my eyes, right? You can see that white dot fluttering there. Let's go and change that to my head, okay? It says, please confirm your selection. I'm gonna confirm it. And we'll look, now I'm actually controlling the pointer. I hope this doesn't, um, the shakiness of the VR camera doesn't mess this up, but I'm using my head to actually move the cursor. I could change it to wrist as well. Oops, sorry, that's index finger. I'm gonna cancel that. I can change it to wrist. Let's go right hand and watch what happens here. Confirm. It's using my, my wrist to control the cursor or the pointer, let's call it the pointer. So I'm gonna go back here to eyes and get it back to that. But these are different options. So look, there's the pointer control. I can increase the contrast of it if I want. I can also change the color. Let me uh, go here. I can change the color if I want to, to blue or red. I'm just gonna keep it on, I think it's on white. Okay, um, I'm gonna turn off the eyes part because it is, I wanted to show you, um, oh, sorry. Let's go to pointer control, turn off. But I wanted to show you, you can also actually, let me put on real quick, pointer size, right? Look, look how big that pointer can get if you want it to be. Okay, 
Also, if you want to use a trackpad, you can automatically hide the pointer, and then there's scrolling speed uh, adjustments. So this is all part of the pointer control and interactions in accessibility, okay? We also have switch control. Now, I'm not too familiar with this, but this allows it to highlight different items and then an adaptive accessory that helps people select things. It'll work in partnership with that. So I just want to show you at least what's here because I'm not su super familiar with this, but some of these options and some of these um, customizations might be important for people that do use this. And I just want you all to see this. Okay. Let's go to voice control. Now voice control is nice because yes, we know that we can use that special S word. A lot of people probably wish I used this feature in my um, review, but I'm gonna turn it on. And it now um, allows me to use it, use this um, option. You'll see the little blue dot appear without saying the magic word. So I can say something like, uh, let's try this here. Open photos. And I didn't have to use the magic word. You can also do though a lot of other um, a lot of other things with your voice control. So I'm gonna go here to commands just to show you this. And there's basic navigation, right? Like close these certain things. You don't have to use that magic S word. Um, dictation. I could say something, let's get it, let's do this. Open notes. Is it, oh, here it is, it's over here, okay, sorry. Okay, and then um, let me show you this. Let's go return, return to go to different line of text, okay? Now, if you look here, we can type a thing. Um, it, you know, it's listening to us, but let's do this, right? You see that uh, phrase emoji? Mind blown emoji. Thumbs up emoji. Pinch emoji. Smile emoji. Rain emoji. So this is some of the dictation controls, and this is, um, there's so many others, text selection, deletion, um, but these are part of voice control, and you see that blue dot just went away um, in Vision OS. And I'm, you know, I'm trying to do my best to show you guys everything. You know, obviously, I was talking so much about this because voice control was on, and so it put all that text there. Okay, so you have different language, the commands I showed you, the vocabulary, there you can have a visual confirmation, play sounds, but this is all options for voice control. Okay, let's go to Digital Crown. You can change the default click speed. It can be either slow or the slowest um, required when you do double taps or triple presses of the Digital Crown. Keyboards here, right? This is just the keyboard settings, sticky keys, slow keys. You can customize that experience and give full court keyboard access with an external keyboard. AirPods here, select which AirPods you use, right? This is pretty straightforward. Hearing devices. If you have an M5 hearing device, it'll be able to talk to it and allow you to pair it um, to use here with Vision OS. Sound recognition, you might be familiar with this. I'm gonna turn this on, but remember with your iPhone, um, the iPhone can recognize sounds and give you notifications. The same thing can happen here Envision OS, and I don't know if they've updated these or I just haven't checked in a while, but here's some of the sounds that can detect fire, siren, smoke, and you can turn on animals, cat or dog, appliances, car horn, breaking glass, kettle, water running, I remember was always one of them, um, custom appliance, people crying, I believe was a baby crying was one of them as well. So it's up to you to turn on these sounds to be basically alerted and notified um, if they happen. And what's cool about that is, um, in the control center, you can actually like add sound recognition to um, be kind of one of those quick options. So I'm gonna go back here. Audio and visual, background sounds on or off. You can choose mono audio, maybe change the balance depending on your hearing. Maybe one ear is stronger than the other. You can change that balance and then you can adjust whether you hear the sound effects or not. Subtitles and captioning. Um, this is interesting because this allows you to change the style. So I'm gonna go here to the style here, and it gives you a preview. This is what transparent subtitles look like. Large text, classic, outline text. You could even create your own style. I'm not gonna do that, but we'll stick with transparent background and even it allows you to 
see this in a large size. So you can see, oh, what it really, what it really might look like for you. I accidentally closed the, the settings I might have. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to tap on it. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's go back here. Then you have guided access. This basically restricts, um, you know, guided access to a simple app. Um, I believe it'd be used if you're helping someone, like someone's using this through an app. You don't want to let them do everything. I believe that's what it is. Um, and you can kind of restrict which features available, but you can turn that on or off. Um, accessibility shortcuts. If you click the digital triple, sorry, the digital crown three times, you can prioritize um, which features turn on or off here. So you can see some of these classic invert. That was um, with kind of how you see the OS. Um, accessibility shortcuts that we did. Uh, Siri here. You can Siri will listen for voice input. Again, Siri pause time, longer, longest, spoken responses. You can choose to have Siri still work while you're in calls or not. Okay. And then there's individual per app settings if you want to do some app customization. There was one thing that I forgot. So let me try and find this real quick to show you all. Was it in... Okay, this is it. Okay, here it is. So this is under physical motor and assistive touch. And this was really interesting. So I'm going to turn on assistive touch. And you'll see this um, icon option appear. And if I start and click on it, it now shows me I can do quick. This is like quick access to jump to the different, um, you know, aspects of here. Okay. But then there's also um, custom. And so these are like the different gestures. You can actually in here create your own gestures and then assign them. And I'm not going to fully do that, but right, you have custom actions, assign, single tap, double tap, long press. I can go here and, sorry, create a new gesture. And I'm just going to create one. I'm just going to do a triple tap. One, two, three, and save it. And I can type, call it triple I'm getting used to the single click typing and return and it'll appear here as a custom gesture and then custom gestures can now be activated in this custom menu so you can create your own gestures that could be then um, essentially assigned to different things it's pretty interesting right so let's get out of here i'll just turn off assistive touch but that is a, a general a, a good deep enough breakdown of all the accessibility options that are here in Vision OS. And uh, I hope this helps you all that were really curious about this, get an idea of maybe where things are different, where things are similar, and what you can do here. But um, there you go. That is Vision OS and the accessibility settings. And keep stick here on the channel because I'm going to do one for literally just the entire settings and control center and uh, whatever else you guys and gals want to know about. So uh, I'll see you on the next video, all right? Peace.